All right, travel carefully tonight. We continue to see the gray skies of the snow falling here in the FM area and beyond as the wet roads have become white, slippery, and now uh, the radar is indicating in some places we may even see some mixed precipitation with a few drops of rain mixing in. The atmosphere is fairly warm here in the lower levels with 30s out there. Here's where we see the snow continuing to move in from the north and east, as we mentioned last night. And it does look like that band is ending now up in Grand Forks and points north. But in southeast North Dakota and portions of northwest Minnesota, the snow continues. We see the dark blue bands here near Climax, Fertile, and just to the south of Crookston. That's where we're seeing some heavier snowflakes right now. Norman County across the Red River into northern Cass. At this hour, we're seeing some moderate snowfall. Foston, uh, all the way up toward the Clearwater County area, we're seeing that snow continue. As we look, this goes all the way down into the Sisseton Hills, where we did get a report of 8.2 inches earlier today. Many of the snow reports we were talking about earlier were given, given to us earlier in the day, around noon or some of them then even earlier. So we'll hear more snow totals as we go toward the 10 o'clock hour. But we could draw a line right here. Snow is done. Southward, it's going to slowly retreat to the south and east as we go through the evening. 32 degrees in Langdon, 32 Oaks and Valley City as well, 33 Devils Lake, and Detroit Lakes has 32 as well. Uniform temperatures, some mid 30s here in Fargo and in Grand Forks, and that's uh, showing the radar that it could be even mixing with a few drops of rain as the snow plow drivers have done a wonderful job clearing our roads. That work continues, but there'll be a challenge now as temperatures start to fall. Snow is falling now, 34 degrees, north wind at 14 miles per hour. Little wind chilly out there. Grand Forks 35 degrees on your thermometer right now. You are done with the snowfall, but a nice dusting and a pretty uniform dusting across much of the valley where many areas saw at least three inches of snow, isolated spots getting four or five inches of snow, including Fargo Moorhead here at the studios, measuring 4.3. Your hour by hour forecast shows that. We'll have that snow band continuing to slowly progress. So by 10 o'clock, it will be moving through and out of Otter Tail County, Grant, and Wilkin County. So a little bit of snow then. Look at the rapid clearing that will take place from the northwest and clear skies, fresh snowpack, perfect conditions with long nights like we have now on our first day of meteorological winter. It's going to get cold. I think some single digits up and around the snowpack here in Nelson County, maybe Grand Forks County, and even into the Red River Valley will have mid-teens for Fargo to start our day. Well, the cloudiness, a little slower to clear down to the south and east, will limit your morning temperatures and limit your cooling. You'll start your day around 20 degrees. So a chilly start for your Wednesday and a north wind as we go through the early part of the day with just a few clouds out there. It'll be delightful. Those light winds, it'll feel nice. In the afternoon, as a matter of fact, temperatures will rise into the low 30s. Won't get too warm, thanks to the fact that we have so much area with some fresh snow on the ground. So the day tomorrow looking like we start clear but chilly. Plan for those mid-teens. That park might not be a bad idea. And watch out for icy roads. Any slush laying on sidewalks or wet areas on the roads will definitely become quite slippery. Allow that extra time and extra space as you're traveling tomorrow. 26 in the midday hour, warming up into the low 30s, then cooling at 5 o'clock quickly into the 20s again as it looks like another very chilly night ahead. We'll have temperatures in the afternoon that will be near 30 up to the east and a lot of mid-30s possible in the far west. A little bit less snowfall up in the Devil's Lake area. Detroit Lakes, wow, measuring snow this morning before the sunrise. And a lot of roads looked like this. This one near Wheaton, an estimated 4 to 10 inches of snow in portions of South Dakota today. All right, frosty conditions the next couple of mornings, 12 to start your Thursday. But then we warm up. And I mean warm up real nice. Now, I didn't put a 4-0 on there because we have quite a little bit of snow to melt. And with the low angle of the sun in the sky and with the short hours of daylight that we have, I don't think we're going to melt all this snow, especially oh, okay. on the south side of your house, south of the fence and things like yes. that. It's going to stick around for a little while. Okay, so winter is here officially. <laughs> it is. A meteorological <laughs> winter started today, and oh, it sure looks like it out there, huh? Perfect. It, it does. Yes. It does. All right. Thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm.